Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager here once again with another video on The Flash Season 5. So just quickly, I will be announcing the winner of the uh, the giveaway from about a couple of weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, for the Justice League Flash Pop from San Diego Comic Con, the exclusive one or something. So I will be announcing that at the end of this video. So if you enter that, stick around until then to find out if you won. So every season we get an episode or two, which is a bit out there and different to what the rest of that current season is going for or what the overall story is. And I'm not talking about random filler episodes that we get from time to time. I'm talking about an episode or two that get a lot of focus and attention due to what the episode contains. Usually these episodes are those like two episode story arcs that we got from seasons one, two, and three which all contained a story that was pretty big in scope, but not necessarily connected to the main story, apart from season two, which was actually pretty heavily connected to the main story, but still its own thing, if that makes sense. So in season one, we had the Firestorm story. In season two, we had the journey to Earth 2, as well as the escape from Earth 2, which gave us looks at doppelgangers, but also, you know, allowed us to dive deeper into some Zoom stuff and what was going on with him. And then in season three, we had the Gorilla City storyline. But in season four, we didn't get that two episode story arc, which was a bit disappointing. But the episode I chose to represent season four in regards to being a bit out there and pretty disconnected from the rest of the season was episode 15 of last season, which was of course, Anta Flash Time. But obviously before we get into the rest of the video, I am interested to hear what you guys have to say in the comments section down below. So yeah, leave your opinions for, uh, from this video down there. Of course, if you're going to enjoy the video, it would be awesome if you could drop a like and it to show support and subscribe to the channel as we are on our way towards uh, 200,000 subscribers, which is uh, it's uh, pretty insane. But in this season of The Flash, that obviously being season five, it looks like we could be in store for another out there pretty damn epic and interesting episode, which could be the villain team up to end all villain team ups. Well, at least in the DC TV universe. And yes, we did have the Legion of Doom in Legends of Tomorrow in season two. I could easily see this beating that. And that team up is between the CGI champions of the Arrowverse, that being, as you can tell by the title, Gorilla Grodd and King Shark. So this news was announced at Comic-Con over the weekend at, yep, you guessed it, the Comic-Con panel for The Flash Season 5. It was announced by Todd Helbing, the executive producer or showrunner for the show. He revealed that Gorilla Grodd and King Shark would join forces against the Scarlet Speedster in the new run, and in particular, during its latter episodes. Sort of. And we will get into that sort of in a second. But to quote Todd, this is what he said. We're going to really try to get King Shark and Grodd teaming up, probably in the second half. Now the issue with what Todd says here is that he didn't really confirm that this would be happening. He says that they are going to really try and get a team up, uh, you know, team up episode between the two. So the spreading of news that this is definitely happening is, well, it's not true. This reminds me of them wanting to bring Black Flash for an episode last year, but that never really happened because they couldn't organize it. And even an episode for season three where they wanted to bring Teddy Sears back who played Hunter Zolom on a Zoom, they wanted to bring him back for an episode. Obviously the Teddy Sears one is a bit different as that it, you know, it's more relying on the actor being available. But this Grodd and King Shark episode plan is similar to the Black Flash one from last season because all those characters are CGI. So this will all come down to whether they plan it well and that it fits into what they are doing this season. But anyway, let's carry on as if this is like 100% happening and nothing will stop it from happening. So uh, yeah, let's carry on like that. So we met our favorite telepathic gorilla in the form of Grodd back in season one. I think it was even in the pilot back in season one that we had the first tease of Grodd when we saw his uh, cage and it was all ripped open and stuff. And since then, he has showed up at least once every Arrowverse season, with his most recent appearance being in Legends of Tomorrow in their season three, when he was a part of Malice's plan and assisted with certain parts of it, even hunting down Barack Obama. Yeah, I know, pretty random. So if you don't watch Legends, you're probably thinking to yourself, uh, what the actual hell goes down on that show? And, well, I would explain it, but uh, even I don't know what is going on half the time over there. So I think it's just best for you to watch and experience it yourself. And when we move on to King Shark, he first appeared back in season two, even though he did appear in the Year Zero tie-in comics for the Flash back in season one. While Gorilla Grodd is actually a full-on gorilla, King Shark is not a full-on shark. He has some human and man in him, as he was once a human before his genetic makeup was changed due to the Dark Matter explosion. King Shark reappeared in season three, which was when he was essentially like an employee of Argus as he protected the Dominator energy thing that Team Flash got to power their Speed Force, uh, speed force cannon, might I say. And the last time that we had the pleasure to see King Shark on our screens was actually in the crossover for last season where we saw the Flash taking him on whilst Barry and Iris were going through who had and who had not RSVP'd for their wedding. I think that's what was going on there. 
In regards to the story for this episode, I think it would be cool if it was just a straight up Argus escape. These two escape and harness their inner Robin from Titans. Fuck the Flash. Just go all out, make it crazy. Have the Flash vs. King Shark on water. Just, just make my head implode. Obviously, this episode won't be on the, you know, the cheaper side of things due to the CGI costs. But you would hope it would be worth it just due to the, like, the out there nature of the episode and the pure insanity that it should and could provide. But do let me know in the comments what story or just things in general you would want to see in this episode and what you'd want to see go down. But now let's get into the giveaway winner. So sorry for not announcing this earlier. I honestly just forgot as I left so long between starting the giveaway and announcing the winner. And Comic-Con was just a hectic time for me. Like my sleep schedule was... Well, it was non-existent. It was just random, to be completely honest. But anyway, uh, as I said, I just I think the question was, what DC movie were you looking forward to the most? And as I said, the, the prize was the uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Justice League Flash Pop, where his legs are like invisible or something. But the winner of that giveaway is Tabito TV. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. So just message me, mate, on uh, YouTube, and we will organize that prize for you and get it out to you. ASAP. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like and it would show you support. Let me know in the comment section down below your various opinions. How do you want to see these two uh, CGI uh, titans, if you want to call them, uh, show up on the screen? And uh, what story would you like to see them involved with? Just let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.